blue chips or 500 chips. Uh -huh. How's the fan? Good. Your wife and your baby, are they in LA now with you or in China? Yeah. Baby is uh, school. Say it again. Baby is school. Oh, okay, nice. Six hundred. Bill, here we go. Two straight hands in a row. Pocket nines. Jackie's got his World Series gear on. Johnson, main event champion, yeah. buys in for thirty thousand. Can make the flat call on the cutoff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Andy's got aces. So here we go. Excuse me, guys. I'm in a hand. Yeah, it's very important. Raise it up. 2,800. 2,800. 4.5x-ish. And obviously Bill and Andy are about 100,000 deep. Bill's going to make the call here. Jack, they didn't have any $1,000 John also in the calls. cage. Can I have a few? How so many of those are you willing to part with? Uh, three ways here, okay? three bet pot. Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Oh, interesting board here. Eight deuce deuce Thank with you. two hearts. So Andy with the overpair. The Bill game. also with an overpair. Yeah. Johnson <laughs> with a flush draw. Andy's going to bet you, real it. small here. Jonathan. According to the graphics. Thank you. Appreciate well, I guess 3,000. 3,000 into about 8,000. Oh, call and a call. So he's going to get two calls here, and we're quick, quickly almost at 18,000 as we roll to the turn. Turn is a five, gives John a pair, some extra outs. You can see Bill is drawing very slim. And he's going to bet 7,000 now. And Bill is stuck in the middle here. He's got to deal with Johnson behind him. Bill's going to call again, and even though John has paired up his five, you wonder if he ever thinks that he might, his his flush draw here may not be good in the middle. It's got to be a consideration. He's getting about four and a half to one, and he's going to make the call here once again. So here we go, 38,900. And the river's a nine! Wow! Bill here with top full house rivers it. And it's pretty hidden. Andy's going to bet 11,000 here. Maybe 25% of the pot, and what is Bill going to do with his sizing? Pot is about 50,000. Raise it up. Bill has Maybe raised 30, here. Wow, kind of a small, a little bit of a like small raise makes it 30,000 3x, but I mean, this pot is ballooned. One of my first raise in six years. And <laughs> up to 90,000. Now it says raise to forty thousand. I could have heard, sworn I heard the dealer say thirty thousand. We'll go with forty. So it's a four x raise here. Twenty nine thousand. There's a time extension here. Thirty seconds originally, and then each one is worth sixty. Yeah. Andy usually does not take this much time. This is probably. <laughs> The longest we've actually seen him with a decision in, I would say, months, if ever. Trying to get a reaction from Bill. Bill, pretty stoic over there. Give him credit for remaining still. And Andy calls! Wow! Right off the bat, 118,900. Bill gets 40,000 on the river. 
What a huge, huge pot here right in the beginning of the show. And Andy's just going to add a hundred, sounds like. And these guys are definitely accustomed to playing these sticks, but you, you wonder how that first big, big hand is going to sort of set in for the game flow here for the rest of the night with Andy. Can we hear some about your gambling adventure in South America? That yeah, looked, man. That looked insane. Where, it was, Did you guys see these pictures on Twitter before he starts? It looked like the craziest was, thing. It was a lot of fun. 800. John here going now to 4x pocket sixes. Dan here 10 9 of oh diamonds. God, Next to yeah. act is just going to call. <laughs> to <be continued> later. <laughs> yeah. Art yeah. with a couple of ducks know, here and the cutoff. The for sure. We'll just this for a moment. He's going to call. Four thousand. And here comes Andy with a squeeze with the king 10 off. Again, John's stack here is not correct. John has what looks to me like at least 50,000 here. Oh. And he's going to make the call. Dan does look to have an accurate stack, though. And Art and Dan are going to fold. And we're going to be heads up here. King 10 off against pocket sixes. Head up. Queen five, queen five three with a couple spades. So John here with sixes with the six of spades, some backdoor straightening equity as well. I think he's definitely going to continue on here. Looks like it was about a twenty eight hundred dollar bet and a call. Let me get that stack updated there. Don't see the turn here yet, but John has checked it over to Andy. Seven thousand. Andy gonna go for a double barrel Seven here. Oh, and it's a six. So John turns a set of sixes here. So how is he gonna play it? Get twenty two thousand. And obviously, if he knew that Andy had King Ten drawing dead, he would have just flatted. But Andy did show a fair amount of strength going for that double barrel, squeezing on the button. So 600 here from Garrett, and Jackie makes the call with 9-8 of clubs. Top pair here against open-ended straight draw. We ran right around EV, so you got the full value and nothing more, nothing less. Almost, yeah. Garrett going to bet pretty large here, 1,300. Come in and just put all on red and just walk out. 
mean, we, we had a couple of different uh, strategy talks. <laughs> cool. That would have been exciting. Yeah. So a jack would be uh, an action card here. I mean, you win four in a row, you're, you win a million. Right. <laughs> it's not four, it's two, right? Or you're chopping for each of you to win a million. Or a million between the three of us. Yep. That king's not going to slow Garrett down. He's going to bet 2,000 now here. Do they even have taken that big of a bet, though? Uh, probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. I don't remember what the max bet was. Most casinos are not just ready to accept 200k flips. Especially for, like, promo chips. Yeah. They want to lose exactly the amount that they seconds. gave you. Not to exit. And Jackie's going to check raise the turn here. Check race, semi bluff turn. Two flush draws out there. Raises it up to 7,500 on this king. I mean, this is really representing a, a king's up type of hand, a slow played set of fives. Not a, not a whole lot of hands he's cool calling from the small blind. And with those draws out there, Garrett does not believe it. He's going to make the call. So 19,300 like here. Had you been to the country before? River rolls off the ace of hearts. So queen jack and backdoor heart to get there. Sounds like a good first experience. Huh? That sounds like a good first experience. Yeah. I love, I love South America. Colombia, Brazil, Uruguay. Yeah. Is he going to go for it here? Going into the 5k chips. Bet. 17,200. 17, now, Garrett has a heart in his hand. He also has a jack. So, obviously, he blocks queen jack and some flushes. As opposed to him not having a jack or no heart, which, which would be a, a worse call. 10 seconds. I don't remember how much I had, like, ace, nine suited or something like that. And that probably right, makes up the queens. Garrett's going to fold. Like right in line for a double knockout. And the big bluff gets through. Nail an ace on the river. <clears throat> yeah. End up costing Ben the payout. Just a what? round of straddles for 5K. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> One round. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, honey? Who, who fell down the well? I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> fourteen hundred. Dan to fourteen hundred here. Ten nine of hearts. Make it thirty four hundred. Andy here to thirty four hundred. Pretty small sizing. As we have Andy's stack updated. Oh yeah, bro. Never. And Dan gonna make the defend here. Well, action flop. 873 rainbow, so Andy with top pair, but Dan open ended with two over cards, backdoor hearts. Andy gonna down bet to 2700 here. Up. 
And Dan is going to raise. 7,000. Going to make it 7,000. And again, I mean, this is effectively less than 100 big blinds. It's almost like 80 big blinds here. So it's not a deep stack scenario with the 400 in the double straddle. <laughs> Andy now picks up a flush draw. Dan only has less than check. a pot size bet left, and he's going to check. check. And Andy's going to take a card. Check, check. Dan has totally whiffed here. All in. And he's going to go all in. He's <laughs> going for it. The check raise check. And an all-in now when the ace pairs. Andy, of course, blocks a set of aces. Excuse me, a set of eights. And he's going to let it go, though. He is going to let it go in Dan's bluff. And he's going to show it. And that could... Uh, Add some more steam over there in Andy's seat. Oh yeah, we we need to flip four either way. So right. this hand is just off. So one two four four. Yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. One two four four. This hand is off. Okay. But. <sighs> Not now, but in a couple hands probably. Unless you don't want to. But it looks like. Is everyone good with that? Yeah. Okay. So whoever's button it lands on, that's when we switch it. One two four four. You have the right group. <clears throat> yeah, me too. What? You prefer no? Is that what you're saying? Uh, you what did Garrett make it? 600. I don't care, Jack. If you don't want to, just say it. It doesn't matter to me. 2400. Uh, you're saying you prefer to leave it. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Let's leave it then. So Garrett here yeah, to 600, yeah, three bet here by Dan it's, it's no to 2400 yeah. from the small blind. You can just straddle here yeah. and there. Sometimes. I was going to say, you have, you have a seat at the table. And Andy's going to four bet here. Maybe occasionally straddle around. You to can start 6, you Up to you. So again, Dan starts about 90 big blinds effective with this round of straddling here at 400. His hand is played at 1, 2, 2, 4. Andy made a small four bet, and Dan's going to continue. And you're going to see, we're going to look at a very three, small uh, SPR three. here. Dan only with about two pot size bets left. Jack 6-8 okay. with a couple spades. Andy here, backdoor nut flush draw, backdoor straight draws. Going to bet 5,000. Dan makes the call. Dan now with one pot size bet left. Check. Eight thousand. And Andy's gonna bet eight thousand here, which puts Dan sort of in an awkward spot. Because if he makes the call, he's going to have... If he calls here, the pot would be about 39, and he'd have 16,000 left, so... I suppose his option is still open to call, but it's very close. Between calling and shoving, or folding. Ooh, and the double barrel's gonna get, let it get through there by Andy. That was a 
big one, whatever that was. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't. Am I the button? <laughs> Please be the button. <laughs> yeah. No, like, it's a clear fold on the button, too, but I wasn't folding on the button. Yeah. 3 5, 35. So Andy here raises to 600. Bill calls. Jackie going to squeeze here with king queen offsuit, and Andy is certainly going to continue on here with nine eight hearts. No. Ace jack jack but, with two hearts. You know, after you see the. And Jackie does not bet. Andy takes, takes a card right behind. <laughs> that flop is but not correct. It's ace jack jack. If I saw that correctly. <laughs> if we're being honest about it. The turn here is a ten, so Jackie does turn the straight. Andy now picks up a straight draw. So bad. Yeah, worst team in the league. So check back yeah. hearts, turns a straight draw. We saw uh, PP suspended six And he's gonna raise the turn here. Yep. Pretty strong. As a semi bluff. Again, ace jack jack uh, on the flop are, uh, with two hearts. Pick. Turn is at ten. No, no, Jackie three bets here right. with King Queen, yeah, so he has a straight. Up, uh, and oh, Andy is Raising it, on the come like Kyle, with heart yeah. wow, and an open-ended straight draw. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I just like my brain is is mush. When did they trade draw? Jackie just right calls. After we drafted a quarterback first. Okay. Okay. We're right well, the river is a left. king, according to the graphics him? here. Last year. Last year. Uh -huh. wow. yeah, he played pretty poorly. I mean, our offense was terrible. Many people thought he deserved like more of a shot than we gave him, but. Yep. Then we got the first pick, so. Check. Yeah, Andy's just going to give this one up here. I think there's too many full houses, too many queens in there. And Jackie wins it with a straight. Andy here raises it up to 600. Garrett going to three bat. Ace jack of hearts. Two legit hands here. And Jackie's got pocket nines in the middle blind. It's always dangerous to flat when the initial raiser can four bat. But Jackie does flat. Andy and Garrett are super deep, and there's the four bet. It's exactly why it's perilous to sometimes call in between the three bets cold. Garrett's going to call, and now Jackie... With the pot being almost 19,5800 to call, everybody's super deep here. I'd imagine that he's going to continue on here as well. So, four bet pot three ways. Andy with the pre flop lead, with the pre flop betting lead. And how about 8 3 4 with two clubs? So, Andy with the flush draw, Jackie with the over pair. I think Garrett's just going to get out of the way, squeezed in between. He's got ace high and backdoor hearts. Maybe if it was heads up, he would continue. Well, he is going to call. And Jackie now facing a bet and a call on a four-bet pot. With pocket nines. And he's going to let the best hand go. Turn is the ten of hearts. So Garrett now turns the nut flush draw. And 
Andy has bet here 30,000 on the turn. Garrett taking a look here at Andy's stack. And he's going to make the call. And we could end up with neither player having a pair here on the river. And the river's a jack in Garrett River's top pair. Pot is over $100,000. Yeah, and Garrett's just... Or Andy's just going to give it up. Garrett checks it back. And he's going to win a $104,500 pot. Making definitely a speculative call with Jackie behind, but it works out for him from the flop. Two or three thousand. Take a look here at the cumulative winnings. Andy down 136,500. <laughs> Bill up 78.6. Garrett up 53.6. My friends are dead. Everybody in the middle. Wow. First time we're looking at VPIPs here. 50% for Andy. 50 slash 39. Jackie here going to raise it up to 1,000. East 10 of clubs. And Bill's got pocket rockets. Going to make it 3,700. See, these guys are very deep. Jackie makes the call. King, queen, four. So Jackie here with a gut shot to a jack. Bill bets 3,000 and Jackie calls. Quick check, check. This is a pretty easy value bet here for Bill. Especially with the way that Jackie just insta-checked behind with the king. Bill bet 7,500 here. Jackie's going to let it go. Playing 100, 100, 200 with the 200 ante, and half the time it seems like it's straddled the 400. Huge game, probably a million dollars on the table. Multiple people with over 200,000. Jackie makes it 1,000. Current WSOP main event champ, John Sin, got a three bet to 3,100. Pretty small three bet from out of position. And Jackie's going to continue with Queen Ten of Diamonds here. Bill, do you have Chicago team allegiances? You know, for the it's an interesting question. For the first time in a long time, thank you. I've been trying to get into baseball over the years 25. to really understand the depth of it, and the drafting, and the minor league system, and you know yep. the, the finer point by following the Angels. <laughs> Waste of time. Okay. So I've gone back to becoming a Chicago White Sox fan because they were so bad last year. They won 60 games. Total. Interesting turn card here. I thought was, if I'm Jackie now open-ended with a 10. John picks up so a flush I'm a draw White Sox fan. and a Starting double gutter this year this year after about to an 8 to a queen. Nice. Nine seven of clubs and of course, on King now they're fighting with the Angels for you know three three games out of the wild card spot. You know they're right both a couple of games under five hundred or whatever. Start. John, so not for them. It's a great fires start. Eight thousand. I mean, how year, bad? Yeah. yeah, after last year. How uh, how was how were the White Sox versus the Cubs when you were growing up? You it was based on where you lived. I mean, yeah. I was a Southside kid. You 
for a White Sox fan. You were, Jackie you were continues. The, from, the, from downtown north, you were a Cubs fan. Cubs fan. I was there with Ernie Banks. The river bricks out. Ron Sano and Don Kessinger and Billy Williams and, you know, nice. Hunley was behind the plate. Fergie Jenkins. I mean, I remember the Cubs, you know, when they, when they blew up, you know, when they had the... They could do no wrong, and then they were eight games up with ten games to go or something and lost. Is John Sin going to go for three go for them barrels the here? Every year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had some good teams, though. Huh? I remember they had some good teams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've they, seen Jackie they make players. some huge I mean, calls guys here. Pitch, John? They had guys that could hit. Looks like he's thinking, oh. And Leo DeRocher is the manager, for crying out loud. That was always good. Coach Leo, did you go to games often? Uh, back then, no. I was either either working or going to school, and it wasn't quite as convenient. Yeah. But back in the day, back in those days, geez, a game was two hours. I mean, they could get a game in an hour and 55 minutes. Of course, they didn't have the TV money issue, which is yeah. There's another pause. People think it's too slow, and I'm going well. You know, every half inning you got you got a three minute TV timeout. You know, that's every, another game that needs a shot clock on. Huh? They talked about. Well, it. John they, does if, give up. If they're if they're gonna take, Jackie's gonna six win it. Six minutes every uh, every inning for TV times nine. That's Not fifty four minutes worth of commercials. You know. Yeah. John, you're the straddle. Don't fall. Did Jackie start it? Me. No, we've been doing it? Oh, I see. The race, 37. Dan going to raise it up here, 1,200. Art. Three bets to 3,700. Ace four of hearts. And Andy is once again going to cold call. And we're playing the 400 straddle here. So Dan is really only about 65 big blinds effective. I mean, I think he's just going to rip it here. You've got dead money from Andy. Again, 100, 100, 200, 400 with an ante. There it is. John, you're a, a big one. Andy here gonna open it to thirteen hundred. Garrett once again gonna three bet. Forty eight hundred ace king of clubs. And Jackie is in the middle again with nines. I feel like this is the third time he's been in this spot here tonight, facing a raise and a three bet by Garrett versus Andy. Well, he makes the call. You can see how deep these guys are. And Andy's also going to call. So 15,300 here, three ways. Ooh, queen nine six. Set of nines for Jackie. Andy with top pair, Garrett. Not with anything. A queen would be a disaster card for Andy. Oh, the turn's a queen! Not really that, sorry. Three queens here for Andy and f a full house for Jackie.
8,000 from Jackie. And Andy's going to raise. Actually, now I'm ready for Andy is going to raise here with three queens. Raise it up to 19,300. And I'm actually getting word that Andy has 32,000 more in his stack than the graphic. Andy's got 192,000 here. So that means he started the hand with over 200,000. Jackie does cover him. But he's got 192 in his stack. And a bet three bet here by Jackie. 8,000 to 19, three, three bet to 55,000. Can Andy get away from it here? I was even a little surprised that he raised the turn with Queen-10. He's not having a good night. Wow, he's going to make the call. Again, Andy's got 156,000 left. So add that graphic 124 plus about 30, 32. 125,300 to the river. Let's see if we see a cream river. The river's a nine! Oh, quad nines versus top full house! Check. And Jackie has checked at the end here. You can't make this stuff up. Double paired board. How is Andy not going to get stacked here? And it looks like Andy has bet 70,000. And there's the all in. And Andy calls. And, and this is unbelievable. Jackie's going to win it with quad nines over Queen's full of nines that is the one, one of the most unbelievable hands I've ever seen on live at the bike let me do the math on this because Andy had an extra 32,000 the total pot is 438,000 900 dollars so 438,900 that I believe is the biggest pot in the history of Live at the Bike. I mean, if we have the math right, Jackie covers Andy. Andy had 156, I believe. So just about 439,000 total in the pot. Unbelievable. And what a check by Jackie at the end, too. Queen 9-6 got checked through. Turn was a queen. Jackie bet. Andy raised with Queen 10, which I was quite surprised with. Jackie three bet the turn. Andy called, and then the river was a nine for a final board of queen nine, six, queen nine.
pocket nines against queen 10. <coughs> Garrett's going to raise it up here with pocket jacks. This might be the first time that I've actually seen Garrett not cover everyone as well. Jackie with 412,000. Garrett with only 345,000 as Garrett flops top set. Jack 6-3. And Garrett has checked top set here. Kind of slow play. He's going to check call. Check. Jackie now drawing dead. Johnny missed. <laughs> and Jackie's going to continue to fire here. Obviously, the only thing here that Garrett loses to is 4-5. Sometimes, though, when you cover all the entire board with top set and someone's putting a lot of pressure on you, it sort of weights them to a lot of bluffs, and that's exactly what Jackie has here. So it'll be interesting to see how Garrett plays this. It wouldn't surprise me if he just calls, and he does just call. Rivers the nine of hearts. The backdoor hearts come in. Whoa, Jackie just two X the pot here. I was good. I was saying, bec thinking because the backdoor hearts came in, maybe Garrett doesn't raise the river here. And I think to this 2x pot size bet here, Garrett's going to check back, and I would be looking at the suits of my jacks. Garrett does not have the jack of hearts here, and I think that makes that this way more of just call. Because it's possible that Jackie could have jack x of hearts. Maybe you know. Just three jacks. And he's going to time extension. He already announced his hand, so there's no way he's okay. raising. Jackie can't believe it. He just showed him. Not even close to close to good, huh? It's like the third best hand. You have a three in your hand, maybe? You have the three of hearts? Make it interesting if you got the three of hearts. That's a good one to show. <laughs> yeah, check and see if you got the three of hearts. There's only 10 seconds ten left, seconds. though. <laughs> oh, and Garrett lays it down! Wow! 2x! <laughs> the river! By Jackie, with total <laughs> air. Unbelievable. Blackjack, please. Where's the code poker for the first week free? And you can check out my site, crushlivepoker.com, and you can use the code LATB for Live at the Bike for the first month free. Learn some uh, live cash game training. We've had a doozy of a game here tonight. Garrett here to 600, ace three of diamonds. Bill in the hijack, jacks, and Jackie with pocket kings. And Bill is just called here. We saw Bill lose a huge pot about a month ago when he played jacks very, very strong. By I think it was with a back raise all in against Andy. And here, he has just flatted Garrett's raise, and Jackie's going to three bet.
And I'm not saying that Bill is going to back raise here at the stack depth, but we did see Bill get involved with Jackson and Andy. But now Garrett is called. Oh, Garrett is 4-bet to 10,000. Excuse me, look at this. So Garrett 4-betting to 10,000. Remember, Bill had just flat. Is Bill back 5-betting here? He's reaching for chips. A back 5-bet. Oh, my God. Raise call with jacks. 3-bet with kings. Four bet by Garrett and a back five bet by Bill. And it's really small. I mean, it's to 27,000. Jackie is up a ton here tonight. Another time extension. This all started with the flat from Bill with Jax. <clears throat> and a click back five bet here. Like I said, we saw Bill stack off to Andy about a month ago. Queens versus Jax with a back raise with Jax. Here he's done it again. And it seems like Jackie is thinking about folding kings. I mean, can't you just call here and continue? I mean, he really looks like he's going to fold kings here. He does have Garrett to worry about behind him, and he's gonna fold kings! Holy cow, what is going on here tonight? Garrett folds top set of jacks. Sorry, Garrett, I was just laughing at you. Well, I don't mind. And pocket <laughs> kings <laughs> folds pre flop like, no incorrectly. Raise it up here by Bill. Are you doing well online? Yeah. Are you doing well online? A lot. Doing well. Doing well. Yeah. Where are you playing? Watch your play. Garrett three bets to three thousand. And Andy and Bill both call. So Andy here flops top two. Garrett with a gutter to a queen and a backdoor flush draw. Uh, one more hand, Jack. You can straddle this hand. Andy's going to raise. Yeah. No, no, you no can straddle. start it. No straddle this time. 14. No straddle. You don't want it? Yeah, I, 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 I. Oh, you can start with it. Yeah, I was saying he oh, he start would it. start. Yeah, yeah, I was saying he can straddle. If he wants to play next hand. He so he's going to raise it up here to 14-3. It's 9,300 oh, for Garrett to call. You're my, you're my guy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll conveniently forget. And now Andy's not super deep. I mean, if Garrett's going to peel just to hit here, 9,300, if he thinks that Andy's all value, but obviously Andy can have some bluffs. 
Garrett with the backdoor hearts makes the call. Turn now is a 7, which gives Garrett a double gutter. And it would be quite hidden if an 8 were to roll off here. So he's gone from a gutter to basically open-ended now. Andy bets 24,000. gonna make the call here again and you wonder if Garrett might rep spades if a spade comes but look at this Andy according to our graphics with only 40,000 so about half a pot size bet but I think he might have more than that and the river's the jack of spades jack. I think he does have about 40,000 so there's the spade does it give Garrett enough showdown value where he's just going to check it back, or is he going to bluff at it? Ten seconds. All in? And he is going to bluff at it. And Andy folds. Wow. Garrett gets it through. Baccarat helps. Like, uh, or I don't actually play, but like the, the squeeze, squeezing cards helps, basically. Because I can count the sides and whatnot, even if I can't read the actual number. What's up, Patrick? All right. You've been doing, oh no, you, you, oh you just got here, who's been doing graphics? Okay. Garrett here is going to yeah. raise it up to 1200. Yeah, two seats open when they invited me. Jackie calls here with ace-10. Bill calls with five-six of clubs. Queen, nine-three. Garrett going to bet here with the gut shot. Calls here with Ace Ten. That's going to give Garrett top pair. here by Jackie to 12,000. Now, if you've been with us the entire show, 
Jackie pulled a delayed check re semi bluff on the turn. I believe it was with a straight draw and got Garrett off the best hand. This was like way back in the first hour of the show. He raises here to 12,000. Garrett is going to continue here, and Jackie needs to hit a jack or an ace. It doesn't come, but the backdoor spades come in. Now remember, Garrett doesn't necessarily know that Jackie had bluffed him off a top set. Jackie with the ten of spades here in his hand. Is he going to go for it again? Check. Not this time. Check. Not this time. <clears throat> and it would have been interesting to see. Ran into one I can't pull. Take a look here at a chip count, Jackie, 420,700. Garrett, just a hair under 400,000. Art on the short stack with 30,000. Take a look at the V-pips, Andy at 45%, Art at 24. The two GTO doctors down below there at 24 and 21. John at 24, Garrett only at 28. And the pre-flop raise stats. Here we go. Jackie up 234,000. Andy down 367,000. Streams here for some of the regular names. Wapry, Rick and Barstow, Mike Hatter, Debout 30. I know you guys are all in here. Shout out to Wayne, JMC Stone, Nick from Yuma, Patrick Curran, our graphics engineer, Tim, TTT123, Eric Peterson, unknown hand for Andy, Bill with at least a pair. Now trips. Also known um, as a set. Just leave the waters, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And Andy leads and Bill with just a tricky flat on this pretty wet board. Straight draws available and flush draws. Queen Jack is down the nuts. Forty-seven, about half the size of the pot. Let's see if Bill can find a raise here. Boom, and there he goes to seventeen thousand dollars. Time chip extended. Those of y'all that are regulars on high stakes Fridays, those time chips are worth an extra minute. These players get 30 seconds to act, five time chips, one per hour, three time chips used in this hand. Oh, he's reaching, and he pays it off. And Bill gets shipped. Looks like about a $44,000 pot. There it is, 44 on the money. And we are playing 100, 200, 400 with a $400 big blind ante. Hasn't been too many bigger games than this on Live at the Bike. Quite the cast of characters, do. Pair versus pair. Garrett with the three bet to 7,500. We know Jackie's not folding. Although in part one, we made it, made it a highlight video on YouTube. Jackie did fold King's pre-flop to a, it was a five or six bet shove from Bill Klein who had jacks. Top 
except for Garrett. Run good much. Garrett's going to lead for a third. When Garrett leads for a third here, he's saying that he has range advantage and that he has a pair bigger than the 10. He's also choosing this sizing so he can bet with a bunch of ace-king hands. And Jackie's going to come in for a raise. These players are sitting almost each with $400,000. I have to imagine that Garrett's going to put in the three bet here and try to pile in as much money, money until this board gets any different here. He wants to charge flush draws over pairs. Garrett can flat here as well. Garrett, since there's so much money, he's going to make it $50,000 to go. Old school style of when you've got the best hand, let's pile in the money. He's going to bump it to 2,000. And Bill will pocket jacks again. We're going to go four ways to the flop and some nosebleed poker. Back in the old school online days, Rail Heaven was, I believe, 200, 400, no limit, and 500,000. So these guys are definitely playing nosebleeds. With a 1, 2, 400, 400. About a thousand dead in every pot. Interesting hand. Jackie has enough flush draw. Over pair for Bill and a set for Johnson. And it just goes call, call. This pot is now $22,000. And a nut flush in top set. And Jackie bets twenty five thousand. Jackie wasting no time to get all the money in. And two players with sets. We're going to see another massive pot in Live at the Bike history. I'm like on the inside, I'm screaming right now. I'm fucking going crazy right now. You know I am, right? Johnson, with sitting with about 100 KR graphic, says 66,000. And there goes $25,000 into the pot. Bill Klein with top set and a bet of 25,000 in a call. Probably thinks that one of these players has a flush. But he is getting the right price to continue. <coughs> Hit a full house. If this board goes paired, this pot is going to get even more massive.
$187,000 in the pot. Bill is sitting with $178,000. Johnson with probably close to $70,000. And here comes an overbet. Looks like 127,000. Uh, if you're Johnson, you still have you still have Bill Klein behind you, who can have a flush. And what Johnson's asking himself: Would Jackie do this with just the Ace of Hearts? Jackie was the initial raiser preflop. Would Jackie be doing this with something? Like ace 10 with just the ace of hearts. That had a straight draw flush draw on the turn and now repping the nut flush. This is some high stakes, deep stack poker at its finest. Where? The sick thing is, if Johnson is correct here, he still ha he would still have to fade. Bill Klein not having a straight or a flush. Pure agony for Johnson. Trying to get something out of Jackie. Penalty. <laughs> Bill Klein. Happy that Johnson is taking so much time because he's had so much more information. Once John is tanking as well. Johnson makes the good fold, and now actions over to Bill Klein. $224,000 in the pot. If Bill makes this call, this would be the second largest pot in Live at the Bike history. There would be 375000 in the pot. Correction, 350000 And Bill Klein lays it. Oh, I wish I was. Down! Bill Klein lays That's down. I think so. Top set. There's too many. Fuck! Fuck! Like, like 10 outs. Uh, F5 garlic. Can I get a huh? F6? Big bad Jackie. That's yeah. your name. F6 on look way too F5 sick. garlic. Both are set to Razor. Bad joke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Too much of a legitimate <laughs> straddle conversation for right, straddle for jokes. jokes. Straddle. Yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, it's a race. Call. What? <laughs> you gotta admire C4 though. He like, doesn't give up. He's <laughs> like 0 oh, for 200. He just, <laughs> just keeps taking the wow. Rocks, huh? Good for him. Wait, <laughs> Referring to him as seat four is kind of a <laughs> kind of a bit of a. That's what you ought to. If you if you lose the bounty, that's what you sign. You sign your seat number. <laughs> Wait a minute, seat four. And he's gonna bet his open end in position. Jackie's just gonna smooth call. And he gets there with the nut straight. Sorry, Seven thousand dollars in the pot. It's going to be a spot where Jackie's going to call a big bet now that he picks up a straight trail. Put an 800 again and then pull it. 1,000. 46. Full thou. It was a full thou. It was a full, it was a full, it was a full, full chip. Full. <laughs> no. Nothing splashed back on it. There was no splash back. Jackie, no problem. Giving advice for his massage. He's going to throw in the 4,600. Sixteen thousand two hundred in the pot, and Andy yeah, reaching for about a pot size bet. Eighteen four over bet in progress. Maybe that. And Jackie spreads out the chips or the pot with the time chip. All I can say is, huh? Two most insane hands happen like right after every single time. It's incredible. Yeah, against him. Look like a right hand. Played it like a by hand. Jackie makes a lay down. He's thinking extra long with having a jack in his hand. He blocks the combo a queen jack. Jackie's going to continue with just the three. He's got some good backdoor equity. That nine is not one of it. Bill with the double barrel. He's got very good removal to ace jack and queen jack. This does the trick. Thank you very much. You wow, Jackie has fourth pair and continues. He says that Bill could still have ace queen, ace king still in his range. As well as maybe something like queen nine and king nine. Queen, queen ten and king ten, some straight draws, not the nine. Looks like Bill's going to go for the three barrel. 8,500. And Bill has targeted Jackie's exact hand. He's putting Jackie on a middling hand. Something like pocket sevens or eights. Or ace five. Wow, and look at Jackie go. And Jackie just pays it off. With just a pair of threes. Also, like, when I, it's over. It's over. <laughs> no, Jackie raised. 127,000. Yeah. Jackie did not pay off that last hand. 
he went for a raise on the river with his bottom pair. going on and Andy just with jack nine of hearts both players with a straight draw Seabed and John with the continue. John does have the best hand. And he improves to open ended. And he bets 40% of the pot. 12,000. If John calls this, he has 40,000 back, so he's going to have a shove for. John of about a pot size. Here's hey, the Ron. man, Israeli Ron, hey. Mr. Queen Deuce himself. Good to see you. Been a long time. How are you? Ron. How are you doing? Mr. Queen Deuce himself. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Andy with two queens. Queen. <laughs> Dad's gonna put in a big squeeze here, I would imagine. Like uh, one year? <laughs> Three months? Four months? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's start playing poker. Well, he's 22 now, so. Yeah, yeah, it was like two years. <laughs> How long did he have a fake ID? ID? <laughs> Now, I've been playing this game for two years. <laughs> Here's the four bet from Andy. It's 11,600. Dad, knowing that Andy is pretty stuck. If he just puts Andy on a light four bet here, and just rips in his stack, or if he calls and takes a flop. Dan started the hand with effectively 160-ish big blinds, and he goes all in. And he's not too happy about it. Like 30. Thirty-six four. 
he Once makes the call. Up to you. Twice. Alright. Well, They're gonna run it two times for a seventy-four thousand dollar pot. Yeah. Sunny. He's on the river, and there it is <laughs> for a chop pot. Very <laughs> Greenstein style. Ace on the river. And these players are going to chop up the pot. Keep it going, man. It's fucking firing him up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he'll he'll reach in for another <laughs> ten. Watch it. Ten more. Ten more. Fifteen more. Ten more. Forty-three hundred. <laughs> what a nice group of guys we got here. Huh? Three bet from Andy here with Queen Ten of Diamonds. Did you have a, a, a smaller flush or did you have Dan's a going to see a flop a with the best yeah. hand. Sevens, yeah. eights. Threes. Threes in the bottom. Heads up. <sighs> Andy with Roger yeah. Vanish. Good. Hi, right, Jax. Good, Jax. Yeah. Wow, sick yeah. turn. Oh, on the turn. Yeah, I made it on the turn. Does have a gut shot. Make that a double gutter. We're both hoping for to make a straight uh, or the pair on the nine river. and the king. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Dan with the best hand with just an ace. Just top pair. One of those even worse. Ace little. Dan can have some slow plays here with ace jack and pocket eights as well. Not straight for Andy. Pile in the money. Seventy six hundred. Seventy six hundred. And now Dan loses to some flushes and sets and two pairs. He's rag does not look good at the moment. It is a smallish bet. Seventy six hundred to win twenty five thousand though. Only has to be good here like twenty one percent of the time. Sometimes when you're getting a good price, you just buy stuff at supermarkets and Target, and Dan's going to do the same thing. Good price, I'm just going to hope that I'm getting a good price and I'm good. Worst river for Andy possible. Check. Four to a flush, and full house is possible. $32,000 in the pot, and Dan is reaching. Dan sitting with about $20,000, 2 thirds pot size bet. Ten seconds. Does he have the itch to pull the trigger here? All in. And he goes all in. Dan turns his top pair into a bluff here. that Dan is a very tough opponent and he is capable of bluffing here. And Dan should be very balanced, playing a game theory style. Dan will have bluffs here, but does he have bluffs here this time? And Andy has to risk 20,000 now to win 53,000. What did you have on that flop, Queen Jack? Let's see if Andy can 
find a fold here. Can I shove you, Paul? <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird pair, small pair. Tough Your spot pair. for Andy. No proper pair. I hate something like that. Oh, Jack Nine is the What hands? Do Andy beat in the three bet pot? He loses to quad. Jacks, he loses the ace jack. He loses to some slow played aces and he lays it down. You have to defend it yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dan re looked at his hand. But this, this was the best hand I've had. Usually the sign that someone did make a big move. <laughs> ace king is the best hand I've had. <laughs> Once again, here are the cumulative winnings. Jackie up $309,000. So far, we're seven hours strong. Remember, this is part two. Wait, up is that Dustin, really? No, I don't like Andy that. in the opposite direction. Does anyone have 1,700 chips on them? This is, my, this is the last money I have to my name, bro. Yeah. You actually need it? Yeah. 800. Well, at least said mid speech wakes up with pocket <laughs> aces. No. What I like to call the angels here to save his day. And Dan wakes up with two queens. You were going to do that? Hey, hey, hey. I can't give away any information. How bad did you want that hand when you have Jack Nine? You want to get me? I wanted it so bad. No, that's crazy. <laughs> when you got the shot on, you won. I was like, when yeah. the last time you won a hand at Shodan? On Sin with the number one Today, hand at no. poker. Uh, yeah. I don't think the last time we played together either. Okay, There's number like one. Shot. <clears throat> Weapons of mass destruction. I guess Dan has flush pocket fives. Check, check on a river. And a four bet from John Sin. And here's where the leveling comes in. These should be the widest ranges here of three betting and four betting cut off first button. And does Dan think that John Sin is light here? Knows that Johnson is an amazing player and can have ace king and ace five suited and sprinkles of six five suited. And we're going to take a flop. John actually has the goods here 19,000 in the pot. And Dan flops is set to crack pocket aces. Scare Johnson away if Johnson has something like a weaker king. Does not want to raise her eyebrow or a red flag. About a pot size bet left for Dan. He has 37,300 back. Johnson knows that Dan can have kings and queens here, but also can have something like six combos of ace king. two combos of king queen suited that are available as well john's gonna bet 13,200 and dan zach with a full house of queens
Dan's going to flat again, and he's going to save his chips for a river bet if checked to. of ace king but loses to six combos of sets there's a lot of dead money in this pot and john sin puts dan all in and a snap call from dan zach who wins a hundred and seven thousand dollar pot Super small flips too now. Thousand. You won one of them once. Wish I had your lifetime record <laughs> written down somewhere. It's not good. It's not good. In one K first. He's like one and eight, maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Jackie, who's up yeah, a ton of money, has aces. He, whenever he goes runs into a game. set of Garrett. I just take the side of whoever, whichever, whichever team he doesn't like. And you, 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 you win. What's that? And he checks it back yeah. somehow. Yeah, he, his team never wins. All those teams suck. <laughs> $3,300 in the pot, and Garrett still plays a set, and so does Jackie. Uh, no juice, whatever the line is. Jackie oh, line. slow just plays his aces. Yeah. Both players slow play. That's 2,000, and here comes a race from Garrett. It looks like 7,500. Aces have been cracked again on this stream. Bet in a raise in front, and Bill with just top pair. Bill did have a gut shot, so the straight draw does give it up. Disciplined play by Bill. Sets and two pairs and straights possible. You can have eight six, jack eight. You have ten nine, nine seven, ten seven. Pocket deuces. Ten seconds. Jackie realizes this, but I don't think he's going to give it up just after one check race. Time chip extended. Jackie gets an extra minute. Get there on this river. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Fourteen. Garrett, that's fourteen thousand dollars. one pair of hand he does have the ace of clubs so that does take away some of Garrett's bluffs and Garrett was check raising with the ace high flush draw Ten seconds. last time Jackie did all this he did fold pocket kings pre-flop to build finds pocket jacks Paid on a one minute time extension. Jack 
Rocky, who earlier won the biggest hand in Live at the Bike history, is put in a spot. Garrett just did this with something like 9-8 or 7-8 pairing a straight draw. You better believe that all those combos are going on through Jackie's brain. He's trying to figure this one out. And he folds pocket aces. What a discipline laid down by Jackie. What a sick fold by Jackie. Oh man. Poker so easy, honestly. Uh, it's so fucking easy. It really is. <laughs> this is like a. <laughs> Jackie, poker's easy, right? 4,400. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll give you plus 400. Getting away from poker, Jackie. You'll, you'll hold it. Yeah. Indie cards? Fifteen thousand. I'm really close to this. Kira waking up with two jacks and Jackie putting in the cold four bet here with Queen Jack suited. Uh, it's okay, I see more than me. These players are sitting. How's that feel? You mind if I add on before the <laughs> four hundred thousand right. dollars deep? Heads up. I'm seeing all sorts of things I never expected. To Garrett's see. Jacks. Check. It's always something new, isn't there? It's been an interesting day, huh? Yeah, it's been a very interesting day. Thirty-two thousand dollars. And we're not even done yet. No. Oh, check, I'm, check. I'm done, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> I kind of. <laughs> uh, I I really I stick a fork in there, right? Yeah, I'm fucking done. I've said this a few times, but like I've always I've been saying I really want to do these long streams. It's, Say what? I really have wanted to do these longer streams on yeah. these games because the game is always like, no. have, like a better action. 8,000 from Second Jackie half. and he's saying he slow played a set. Uh, it's funny, I tell, Jack I tell the people, in half. my friends, my poker friends, that I think we have a better game once the stream is almost over. Because people have settled down, the adrenaline's kind of, you know, people have gotten a feel for the table, they've got a feel for the, pre you know. Yep. Ten, like more people flow. are tilted. Right? People, yeah, Is people are more? exactly. Yeah. People are fatigued, tired. It's I'm not home. Like everything. Nobody can stay hot better. forever. I'm not, I'm not home. <laughs> yeah. I'm just full. I'm not home. Just but, full. I guess so. not. Well, I guess it can stay hot forever. What? Garrett does make the discipline lay down. No, no, no. He's going to be drawing dad. And the ten of spades would have came on the river. I feel bad not showing you too. That's are you in? Bet here with Ace King. Art with a parry. Start this hand with about 50 big blinds since this is a straddle round. More like 58 bigs, something around there. All in. All in. And Art's just going to go all in. We're gonna run it twice. Another coin flip. Andy versus Art. Okay. First one for Andy. Locks it up. Sweating Art's reactions. That's not me. Nice. Second board. And Art wins the second board. Chop this up. Stakes are getting super huge here. High Stakes Friday, brought to you by Live at the Bike.
Bill with pocket kings once again, and he's going to make it 40. Excuse me, 8,000 to go. Kara made it 2,600. Kara with pocket tens. The blind versus blind battle. Kara is going to take a flop. Just wondering if Bill can have some bluffs here. And ace king and ace queen and top set for Garrett. thousand dollars in the pot. Okay. He's gonna bet five thousand and now Garrett's gonna hope that Bill has all those over pairs. Jacks through aces. Garrett just proceeds with just a call very tricky and there's the brick of all bricks, the deuce of spades. Check. Karen now with quads on the river. and gets snap called by Bill Clancy my mind. Kings. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get too frisky. Glad I didn't get too frisky. Big and balloon. Kara with another three bad. Bill with the flat coat, ace queen. They bruffing it. They just keep on betting and betting. Cold call. Bill Klein with ace queen has Kara dominated, and he's gonna come. Make the call. 9-8. Care with top pair, top kicker. Backdoor nut flush draw. Half the size of the pot. Is what he fills his best with the bet of 3,500. That 3,500 gets called in two spots. Trip nines. Huge equity hold over Garrett. Three bet pot. Hard to put these players on a nine, but Andy does have one. And Garrett gets there with the nut flush. We're seeing massive pot after massive pot, and Garrett double checking to make sure he has the ace of spades. What am I doing today? Can we call service, please? Yeah, huh? What am I doing today, Sammy? It's making all service, the wrong. Please. Service. Bill with no spade. And Andy behind gives it up. all in. And he goes all in, repping a full house yeah, yeah, since he I has a nine, or repping a straight flush since he has an eight of spades in his hand. He can rep, rep ten eight of spades, and he can rep all the full houses, 
and Andy going for this one. Andy is super stuck, but going for this one like a beast with a massive overbat. An all-in of 78,900 from Andy. How much heart does Andy so have to go for 80, it here? 90, After being stuck in this double stream and still has the heart to go for this one with a very good removal. He can have full houses and he can have a straight flush. And a spot probably he's under bluffing and just perfect timing to go for this one. And he has more than this graphic. Sammy just counted 99,400. Almost a bluff of a hundred thousand dollars. High stakes poker at its finest. Garrett seems shocked. He's in disbelief. He has enough flush. But the board is paired. And not only does he have enough flush, he has a, a jack blocker to jack nine suited. <laughs> For a few different reasons. That's what Garrett means when he says that statement. He blocks Jack Nine of Clubs. Pretty important. There's only one other combo of Jack Nine suited. But if Andy has offsuit combinations, there's a lot of combinations of full houses here. And Andy gets that one through. What an insane bluff by Andy, and he gets that one through. here Johnson opening to 800 pocket kings hurt with ace king and a three bet there has been some three betting and four betting going on between these players no commentary now got nothing you want to say I think it's getting real personal between us two Johnson doing some Hollywood in here being playful here with, with art here. Give it to the losing players. These two players Ten have seconds. been needling each other. In good fun though. I would imagine all the chips are gonna get in here pre flop. Seventy six hundred. Seventy six hundred from John. And an 
all in. Twice. All in and a call. Sure. Twice. Two times. Here we go for a, almost another fifty thousand dollar pot. Big pot after big pot here on High Stakes Friday. <coughs> First one of art. <coughs> you have eight? Yeah. Eight. We're going to chop this one up. Seems like all the times we've been running it twice so far, these players have been chopping. Two bitter rivals, and they pick up Ace King versus King King. Dan facing a three bet with A7 is suited. He's going to take a flop in position. Dan sitting 100,000 deep. Art only with about 25,000. Art definitely with range advantage and he's going to have a high CBF frequency on this dry board. Also knows that, knows that Dan will be doing a lot of four bending with Ace King, so. 1500. 1500. Dan has some good backdoor equity to a straight and a flush. I wonder if this 1500 piques his interest with the call. And it does. 8300 now in the pot. Dan now with the gutter ball. Interesting turn spot for Art. Does he go with another small bet? Or does he check? And he does check, check it over to Dan. He's going into check call mode. Dan's going to bet half the size of the pot just about. Three hundred in the pot. Check. Art checks one more time to Dan. And Dan might be at the bottom of his range. The only worst floats he can have is maybe ace five suited. <coughs> Queen Jack suited of spades. Ten seconds. Diamonds and hearts. He's Pretty low in his. On, all in. Oh, and he goes all in. All in. I was going to say he's pretty low at the bottom of his range, and when players are at the bottom of their range, that's when they're bluffing. Dan did have some good removal to Ace King. He blocks Ace King and could have peeled 7 5 suited in position and played that way. Floorman! 
600. Ways to the flop. <laughs> Each player gets a little piece down with two overs and a gut shot, and Andy You're with monkey. middle pair <laughs> and a straight draw. Jackie with bottom pair and a straight Whenever draw. Whenever I think of your poker game, I think of a guy scooping her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Can't win twice. Jackie's gonna lead this. I always turn. immediately say once when yeah. it's three way all in. Yeah. Say he has a flush in his hand. That's a nightmare. Oh, and Andy goes for a min raise. She does, Andy does have middle pair and straight draw. No, you're not. Does have a nine high flush draw as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Jackie takes it straight to the streets. With seven six suited. No, this explains a lot. No spade in his hand. That you hang out with these guys. Right? That explains a lot. This is what you see. This is your universe. <laughs> now you look so much better. Yeah, you look so much better. Ten seconds? That was a Andy. pretty awesome sequence right there. Five seconds. In a pretty tough spot after raising that turn. Jackie's going to get the job done with seven. Six. All in again, huh? What you have? What I have? You had a good big end. Yeah. Six out here. Oh, you got that? 600 and a quarter. Oh, again. Oh, again. How much have you gone through today, yesterday? Eight times? You don't want to play post flop, sure, and river. You don't want to play. Johnson with the squeezy here. <laughs> Looks like with King Queen <laughs> suited. 3,600. I don't know what's perfect. And Andy's going to call to try to hit a set. She get pills to call with King Queen off. Jackie says, all the dead money, and I'm on the button. Why not? Let's go. Let's, Let's go. play. Four players. I think I'm going to ask for money. How much? I don't know. 10K. All right. Art has 10K. Copy C4 has 10K. Bill's going to raise it up. Raise it. 18,000. And Johnson does the shock face, but he created this pot. He's got nowhere to go here.
Watson's just going to put the rest of it in there. And he's going to see that they're chopping it up. No player with the spade. two time chimps back, but nothing you can really do once you squeeze a king-queen and you off the top of your range. Or near the top. does give that one up. Guess he was worried that Phil might have some slow plays and set of jacks, set of threes. Great 600. for Jackie and Andy gets her with the straight. if he goes something like 12,000. Raise it. 75. 7,500. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie in a tough spot here. Jackie. Tough to put Andy on 10-8 here. Most players, when they would turn equity of a 9, they'd keep barreling, but Andy decided to check this one back, which is probably going to end up getting him paid. Gives up two pair. <laughs> what a sick fold for? by Jackie. Yeah. Let me try again. You are already fun to play with. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Once he goes check check on the turn, pretty okay. tough for Andy to rep much. Jackie somehow finds the fold by him. <laughs> Usually I'm better. 600. Raise it. 22. Raise it. 
10. And Jackie with just a flat call of the three bet with ace queen of diamonds. Yeah, 10,000. No, it looks like Jackie did put in the four bet. It's 10,000, and Garrett's going to take a flop in position. That's These players are sitting super deep. Flush draw for Garrett. Jackie with good removal though blocks Ace King and King Queen. Both diamond variety that he blocks. I only have five. So. Twelve thousand. <clears throat> Jackie's gonna bet twelve thousand. Garrett has a pure continue. <clears throat> Whether it's a form of a call or form of a raise, there's going to be money going in this pot. This pot has ballooned to 45,000. Now Jackie with the diamond flush draw. Sick hand that's transpiring before our eyes. And Garrett definitely doesn't want to get check raised, so he checks it. And Jackie with the ace high has the best hand. He has the nut no pair. Jackie bets $24,000, half the size of the pot, which in this pot kind of looks like a call me bet. extension thus far. Oh, Garrett's thinking about calling this. this. is pretty sick. He's wondering if Jackie could have something like 9-10 of clubs or 9-10 of diamonds, 6-7 of diamonds, 8-7 of diamonds. Ace three of diamonds, ace two of diamonds. Is Jackie sick enough to have these hats? I think so. But still is a stretch for just another ace high to call. And Garrett gives it up. And Jackie wins another massive pot of $69,100. Jackie honestly seems unstoppable at this point in this 10 hour stream. Garrett's raising up to 600 and Dan's going to put it in the three bet here out of position. It's going to make it 3,200. Big three bet sizing from Dan since they are very deep. Goes with a little bit over 5x. <clears throat> 7,500 now in the pot. 
Garrett flops top two. And Dan is sitting with $109,000 back. Neither player with the club in their hand. Garrett bets 6,000. He really wants to put an ace in a tough spot. Such a big bet size on the flop. Twenty. Garrett bets twenty thousand dollars. seconds. And Garrett fills up on the river with a full house and this pot is $59,000. just throws in all his time chips. Time. He's saying that he's going to need like four to five minutes to think about this. Garrett is saying he either has something like he does, ace-queen with a full house, pocket queens, pocket eights, or a missed, a draw, a missed draw like King 10 a club, something that blocks ace king with a club in it, with two clubs. King jack of clubs. It's very polarized. Either he has a nutted hand or he bricked a big draw. And I guess Dan's mic is turned off because we can't hear him. 10 seconds. Not having the king of clubs in Dan's hand means that Garrett can have those bluff combos. King 10 and king jack of clubs. He also chops ace king if Garrett goes this big with ace king. Where is Garrett going? Garrett got off of his seat during this middle of this pot. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett got up. It looks like he had to blow his nose. He went to go get a napkin to blow his nose. He knows that Dan threw in five time chips. <laughs> so he knew that there was going to be time for him to go grab a napkin and come back. 
I wonder how much Dan is reading into that. Would Garrett be doing that with the bluff at this point? If Garrett was bluffing, would he go walk and go get a napkin and blow his nose, or would he sit there stoic? I don't even know if Garrett could be balanced in this spot, whether it's strong or weak, but I think it's pretty humorous. Dan has to risk 80,000 to win about 140,000. So yes, be good here like 35% of the time. Maybe around 37, 38% of the time. If he thinks he's good here 38% of the time, then he's going to make this call. so close that Dan's going to use up all his time. He used the time chips. He put them in. He might as well take all the time. Makes the call, and Garrett's going to win a two hundred and twenty thousand dollar pot. Yeah, my nose is running hard. I just got a nap. Were you really? That's why. That's what happened. Oh, really? That's all I did. Okay, that makes sense. just stunned the table and I think that's going to be the last hand of our night. <laughs> 